Hey guys, this is Sam and in this video, we are taking a look at a second way on how to record your iOS devices screen. The forced, the forced, the first tutorial that I made probably either a couple of days or maybe even hours ago showed you how to record your iOS 8 devices screen with a USB cable, whether it be 30 pin or lightning connector on a Mac running OS 10.10 Yosemite. I understood that was extremely narrow and there's probably not a lot of people at this point in time running those specific things, whether it be iOS 8 or even OS 10.10 Yosemite. And I know there's loads of you guys out there that don't have a Mac. So I'm gonna be demonstrating how to use this awesome piece of software for both Mac and PC called Reflector in this video. And all you need to do this is an iOS device running iOS 6, 7, or 8, a compatible device with Reflector, which I'll leave linked down below in the description along to where you can buy Reflector for $13. And of course, this tutorial works with both Mac and PC. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Now for this video, I will be demonstrating how Reflector works on a Mac because honestly, I do not have a PC in the house to show you guys how to do this on. Otherwise, I definitely would make both a Mac and PC version, but unfortunately I don't. So follow these near exact same steps on your Windows PC and you should be just fine. So the first thing that you need to do in order to start this process is to go ahead and get Reflector from airsquirrels.com. I will of course leave a link directly down below in the description of where you can actually try this for what I believe is seven days. What's really nice about this is that they give you a seven day trial before you even buy it, which is super, super useful in case you just maybe wouldn't like it for some reason. So just once again, head over to the link down below in the description go right to this page where it says Reflector. You can download a seven day trial for both Mac and for PC. If you're on Windows, you need to make sure you download the correct version for your system, whether you're running Windows 32-bit or Windows 64-bit. But since I'm on a Mac, I'm going ahead and click the download trial on the left. Once Reflector has finished its download, I'm going to double click it and it will automatically pop up as a disk image and it wants me to, on a Mac at least to drag it into my applications folder. PC users, if you get stuck here for whatever reason, definitely check out Air Squirrel's official tutorial on how to install it. As soon as you hit the download button, it comes up with instructions for both Mac or PC on their official website that lets you know how to install it. So definitely check that out if you are having any troubles. Once again, I apologize, I can't show this on PC. I would definitely try to help you guys out as much as possible if I could, of course. But continuing on, now we just open up our Reflector application like we would open up any other application, whether it be Chrome or Safari or maybe even the Windows App Store or something along the lines of that, it should pop right up and there will be a little button, I believe, in one of the bottom corners. Unfortunately, I do not have the screen because once again, I did purchase the full version, so there is no trial screen, but find somewhere where it says continue to the trial. And here is when we wanna switch over from our computer or PC over to our iOS device. So now that we're here and Reflector is open on our computer, simply unlock your device and then go in to Control Center if you're on iOS 7. If you're on iOS 6, you wanna go into the app switcher and slide over to where you see the AirPlay icon. But if we're on iOS 7 or 8, simply swipe up to enable the Control Center. And from here, we wanna tap on AirPlay. It'll be that little box right there. Now you should see the name of your computer pop up right under the AirPlay menu. However, if you aren't, it could be because your phone and your computer are not on the exact same Wi-Fi network. As far as I know, both devices, both your phone or your iPad or your iPod and your computer must be connected to the exact same Wi-Fi network. Both of my devices are, so my computer popped right up. I'm going to simply tap on the name of my computer that shows up as an AirPlay option, and I have to flip the switch that says mirroring. You can see just about the second that I do that, my computer immediately shows me exactly what I'm viewing on my iPhone or iPad or maybe even on my iPod Touch. But now the important part, how do we record our screen? Well, it's as simple as navigating to the device menu and going down to where it says start recording. Simply click on that and there we go. You can see the little recording and now it will record whatever I show on my screen until I go back up to the device menu and hit stop recording or command R if you're on a Mac. And there we go, it will say where do you wanna save this? And for this video, I will just quickly save it to my desktop. It'll take just a couple seconds to export or maybe a couple minutes depending on how long the video was. 
that you recorded and it'll automatically launch up QuickTime Player on my Mac and play it back for me. Now, as you can see when I watch it, it might be a little laggy and slow at times. This is my one disadvantage about Reflector that I definitely wanted to talk about at the very end of this video because don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong, Reflector is an incredibly solid piece of software and I would definitely recommend purchasing it. The only drawback is it requires a relatively fast, steady, non-wavering Wi-Fi connection to work the best that it possibly can. And it's not Reflector's fault. It uses one of Apple's services called AirPlay Mirroring, and ever since that's come out, I've never had the best results with it. Of course, this is just one setback. Reflector is so good, and it works really well about 99% of the time. But if you're looking for continually rock-solid, steady, maybe gameplay recording, Reflector might not be the best option. And if that may be the case for you, definitely check out the first video I did on how the best way to record your iPhone screen is, because that is the best way that there is to do it, to my knowledge for the cheapest price if you already have a Mac and an iPhone. So thanks a lot for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, as always, feel free to click the like button down below. And if you're interested in seeing more content from myself, including more stuff to do with your iOS device and a ton of iOS 8 coverage, definitely feel free to subscribe and I would really appreciate that. So thank you very much for watching this video and I will see all of you in the next one.